they have a close bond, and uh, and it's really that bond that sort of propels him into um, the rest of the story. You know, the fact that she's so deeply affected by the murder that happened, and uh, and and he is trying to find ways to come to terms with that, and come to terms with the case, and uh, and to find some some resolution to it. Um, they are a unit when they, when he's here, and um, and it's sort of a testament to their affection for each other that he can never let it go and that it becomes a total obsession to him. Um, he knows he's onto something and it's really trying to find out what it is and who's to blame and what the full ramifications are for what happened. I um, was thrilled when she came on to play Jess. Um, you know, I just knew that it was gonna be a really exciting dynamic. Uh, and, uh, you know, she captures those that sense of the 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 easier dynamics of, um, of friendship and camaraderie are so available to her. And, uh, and, and then the really complicated, dramatic dynamics are also so accessible to her as an actress. And so she really plays the balance of those two things so well. She's beautiful and talented and gracious and, um, and just is really able to exude all of the kind of intelligence as well and uh, um, uh, that that Ray sort of finds so fascinating um, and also a little untouchable, you know, and uh, and his obsession with her is so easy to access because, you know, Nicole is has all those things herself. Part of the dynamics that they're dealing with is that there's no, apart from Marzin, you know, there's no other out-and-out -out bad person, bad um, character, you know, that you're kind of struggling against. You're struggling against people who have a different perspective and a different you know, worldview than you have, which becomes sometimes the hardest thing to do. Um, so even though people talk about sort of moral equivalence and, and, and where they're right and where others are wrong, in the end, it's, it's much grayer. And I think the film deals with that in a really, in a really great way. He's really all over it and um, deeply involved in it and specific and meticulous in a great way. And, uh, and as a director, He's able to also let go of certain things and let characters and actors sort of find their own moments and, uh, and is always part of the dialogue and part of the discussion about moments and character development and, uh, and story arc. And that's been a really great part of it and has been fun as well. It's a story in that sense, you know, of a, of a guy, Ray Caston, who, um, who travels to... Um, Los Angeles, just after 9-11, and is involved, you know, in a, in, in a murder case. And, and the case, and trying to rectify the case, takes 13 years, um, involves close friends, close colleagues that he worked with in the district attorney's office in Los Angeles. And the investigation infiltrates all of their lives, and in some ways, all of them become tainted and are all culpable uh, for what happened. And... Um, and, and the resolution of that is explosive and complex and difficult. They're all traps, you know, in this murder. Um, and they're all, and it's all, it's a question of what the nature of redemption is going to be. For Ray, his feeling is that he will be, he will feel a sense of redemption, a sense of freedom once the case is solved, once he has found Marzin and finally been able to, through the machinery, uh, through the official machinery, put him away. Um, to Jess, that's, that makes no sense, you know, in a sense that it's, uh, that she knows that because of the nature of how slippery it is within the circumstance, it's, that that kind of justice is never going to be found.